I'm going to be talking about everything relating to the School of Dentistry. He's a lecturer at the UDS School of Dentistry. When you do the ratio, you realize that one dentist is seeing more than 60,000 people. If you then you need to have passed with aggregate nine or better. So it's pegged around 10,000 thereabouts. A lot of diseases manifest in the mouth. So. The first batch, there are 20 students. Look, we are very um, happy to have you today, and then it's a pleasure having you here. Well, just that this is a good initiative, and thank you for the opportunity. And it's good to have people well informed okay. before they make their career choices. So okay. yes, kudos to you and the team you. for putting this together. Thank you. Um, why um, the introduction of School of Dentistry in UDS? Um, when you look at the distribution of dentists in Ghana, Majority of the dentists are located in the southern part of Ghana. Mm -hmm. And this is mainly because, first of all, most of the people after training don't accept postings to this part of Ghana. Mm -hmm. And we, we thought it wise that when we introduce a school here in this part, um, it will make it easier for our trainees or those who have trained for that period to be retained and work here. You look at the five northern regions, northeast, mm -hmm. Northern region, Upper East, Upper West, Savannah. There are only about 10 or even less than that. About 10, let's say about 10 dentists in all these five regions. Really and this, these five regions uh, contain about 5 million people. So if you do the ratio, you realize that one dentist is seeing more than 60,000 people if you want to map it. And even with that, most of, out of these 10 dentists in the five Northern regions, most of them are in TTH. So you can imagine, what about Northeast region? What about uh, Savannah, Savannah region? region. Exactly. Okay. So that is why it's very important that we put a school here in the Northern Belt. Okay. So that when we train um, the dentists, we can push them into the Northern parts of Ghana to help uh, bring some form of equity when it comes to oral health. In Ghana. Okay. What are the requirements before you even get in there? To get admission into the UDS School of Dentistry, you need um, your WASI or your SSC, or um, if you have the A-levels or the, the Cambridge program. Mm -hmm. um, and you need to have done the general science course. So what it means is that you need your bi biology, physics, chemistry, elective maths, and then the core subjects. Okay. So you need, you need to be a science student, and then you need to have passed with aggregate nine or better. So we started the cutoff at nine, aggregate nine, okay. because um, it's, it's a new school. So we are opening up so that we can get a lot more people and um, train in the program. Okay. But I'm sure as it becomes more competitive and as time goes go on, I go, yes. Okay. But for now, if you have aggregate nine or better, you can gain admission to the school. To calculate your aggregate, we need um, the core subjects. We need English, maths, and um, Integrated science, English, okay. math, integrated science. And then for the electives, you need biology, chemistry, and then either physics or oh, elective math. math. Okay. So that's what we use to calculate the yeah, aggregates. Okay. So once you have this, you have again nine or better, you have general science, you qualify, you do, you do your, um, you do your, you, you apply, you buy your forms, you apply, and then you are shortlisted for an interview okay. and then an aptitude test. So once you pass the aptitude test and then the, Interview. interview you gain admission to the school. Okay. Yes. How about those with the um maybe they've done a first degree in a different mm. field? Yeah. Are so they eligible entry, yeah. to so for now we have not started the GEMP program. Yet. Okay. Uh, we are yet to roll that out. We need a normal one to thrive a bit okay. to start flourishing a okay. bit. So for then. now for it's now, just the OC results. The OC OC. How about your school fees? How much is it and then <laughs> So, uh, well, so for now, um, as most other schools do it, the okay. It's so UDS is strictly paying. Okay. Yes. And the good. reason is that the the the, the 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 training of dentists is quite uh, cost intensive. Okay. Because you look at the dental chair, each student should have access to a dental chair. Each student does procedures. Okay. And you need consumables, you need instruments for okay. each student and all of that. So all of that fees, we needed to provide these things for the training. Uh, so 
and the amount is pegged around ten thousand thereabouts. Okay, per year. For a year. Okay. Yes. So sure. that's what and in CDs, right? CDs. Right? <laughs> okay. So we are sure. CDs, but slightly a bit, slightly a higher for foreign students. Okay. So this is for uh, this is for Ghanaian students. 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 Okay. So do you have some foreign students? For now, we, we have. don't have. We have. That's in medicine here. We have a, a three years preclinical. We have clinical years, yeah. and then so. Is it how is it and then yes yeah. what what does it involve yeah, so same concept so the first three years they are doing the basic sciences so they join the medical class okay first year second year third year okay then in the fourth year when they go to the clinical uh, training okay they, they part ways okay so they go into more dental oriented so does that stuff. mean they are doing pbo they are doing PBA. They are writing block exam. They are writing okay. block exam. Okay. Um, uh, so they go through from first year, second year. It's in the fourth year, second tri trimester. Okay. That they, so even the first trimester in the fourth year, where you are doing the introduction to medicine and surgery, okay. they are with you. They are, they are okay. with the medical okay. students. Okay. Up until um, the second, the second oh, trimester. Okay. Uh -huh. That's when they go. They come to the clinic, the dental clinic, okay. and then they start learning purely, purely dental. dental. So, Okay. So we look at dentistry as more of like a branch off of medicine, sort okay. of. Uh -huh. so, okay, because... Yes, okay. so it's basically the same. They do um, the junior clerkship, medicine and surgery okay. with you guys. And then when they get into the senior clerkship, senior clerkship that's, then, right. that's when they it. So they, are they, do they also go for the um, third trimester yes. program? Yes. And then... In fact, the first batch just finished their third trimester. Okay. Yeah, so they do that in the first year. And then the second year third trimester they do the Corby's program okay. as well so yes basically the same thing basically the same thing but in practice <laughs> they practice just dentistry in practice they practice just okay, but they have to learn like the whole thing yes. okay yes the, the reason is you know okay. sometimes you're you're seeing somebody's tooth or, yeah, but uh, it could be that there's a more exactly. the cause is a lot of diseases manifest in Good. their mouth so Good. you have to know the disease exactly. before you know yeah. okay and yes. it, it might interest you to know that even diabetes can be picked from them. Oh, yeah. Yes. I love something. Yeah. So, yeah. so you need, or, so there's a course they call oral medicine, where okay. you need to understand some of these things. Yeah. To be able to even manage medical emergencies in the dental chair. Okay. You have a, a patient who is has high blood pressure. Okay. You are, you are doing an extraction or whatever. The should patient be just to, uh, should yeah. be able to determine that this patient, I can't manage because of hypertensive emergency or hypertensive crisis. So, okay. this patient needs a physician okay. to attend to before okay. I go on with life. Okay. So if you don't understand that science behind it. Okay. So why then don't they just do the six years medicine? Just like other specialties. You finish and then continue. Yeah. yeah. So that's because even in dentistry they, they are specialties. <laughs> so so we have the general dentist. So imagine you have to do dentistry six years. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you have to do medicine, medicine six, six years. years. Come and specialize in dentistry, let's say three years. And now come and specialize in the specialties in dance. By the time you finish school, we are old. <laughs> so what we do is that right from um, senior high school. Yes. Just... Yes. You just decide this is the career path I want. Okay. And, and then you go into dentistry. So even in dentistry, okay. there are specialties. You can you can do orthodontics. You can do microfacial surgery. You can do so many other things in dentistry. Your first batch, how many students do you get in total? So the, the first batch, there are 20 students. Okay. So for now, we've pegged that number at 20. Okay. Yeah. Just so that we can have, like, good one-on-one -on -one training for them. So okay. we have, as a stance, we have 10 dental chairs. So each, each two students to one chair. That way, you can be sure that every student is, 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 is having hands-on, is having the practical feel. Okay. As against, if you have a very large number, some people dodge, you don't really see, the, the, you don't get the competencies, the okay. people don't do the procedures at hand. And so we are we are twenty for the first batch, and then the recent admissions too. We are we are taking in twenty students, okay. so it's going to be twenty for a while up until we probably expand and then okay. we can take more. But in all, like how many people do you get um, picking forms and then wow, coming? A lot or... of people. Last interview okay. we had about seventy, wow. so about seventy people. Okay. Yeah, who who actually qualified? That's with a grade nine or better. Okay, so yeah. it was through your. Um, it was through the interview and, test okay. that we filtered down. To. Okay, so what does that entail? Like the interview for um, admission. So the interview is pretty standard. It's just like I I would say the medical school interview. 
Okay. 15 questions. Why do you want to do dentistry? Okay. Um, what do you know about dentistry? Those kind of things. Yeah, just to get to know the, the applicants. Okay. So uh, what, <laughs> what is it that stands out for you to so, pick someone? Uh, we score... I don't know if I should be saying this, but we score on okay. appearance, we score on confidence, okay, just we the... score on eloquence, we okay. score. So we, we look at all these things. Okay. How about the test? The aptitude test is is um, is is more theoretical. So okay. it's questions like. So is it uh, from senior high school? Yes. So base? we have we have SHS questions. Okay. We have biology. No, I mean the wasi stuff. Okay. Then we have dentistry questions. Okay. We do that because if you say you want to be a dentist, you want okay, to be sure you really uh, you should have some knowledge in it. Okay. Uh, so we have some basic dentistry questions. Okay. Also in there. How long do you intend to keep picking like twenty twenty? Because <laughs> <laughs> and then what are the long term plans for this? Because it's a whole department. I'm sure a lot yeah. of people want to come in too. Yeah. So. Hmm. It's, I, I I hope soon we increase the numbers, but it's going to be difficult. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Okay. Yes, because uh, the smaller the number, the more quality the training is. Okay, maybe the fact that you don't have a lot of dentists yes. around to yes. do the training. Yes. Have to yes. And you, yes, and you, good. So you need a human resource as well. Yeah. You need people around to always be training. You need you need at least every, um, one person from each specialty to be around. Okay. to train them okay. uh, so to be able to get that it takes time. takes time not many people want to come to to this part okay. really so it takes a lot of convincing and, yeah. uh, and they want to see it work really before they can stick their hopes on okay so as a new school a new department growing up and also in a place like bds where the whole university is a striving place so um would you say you are doing well and then if you are doing well like um how in what form have you been able like to manage with the circumstances um available yeah so so far i think we are doing well we've been able to do two admissions successfully and um, recently we've got 10 dental units dental chairs okay. and then we've got 20 phantom heads and then we've got a slot uh, at the near the post office so okay. that's where our, our students clinic will be Okay. Yes. At so that means campus. your clinical year wouldn't be in TTH. It wouldn't be in TTH. Okay. Unless they have to do some rotations. For example, if they have to do oral surgery. Okay. Those ones where you need a theater, for instance, okay. those ones they will have to come to TTH to go through that rotation. But apart from that, the other um, clinical, clinical training, training can be done there, yes. okay. including the the phantom head. Okay. Uh, so the phantom head is also going to be set up at the, the new um, lab block. Yes. So that's where we, we've been able to get a place there where we are going to put the phantom heads for, for the train. Okay. So we are, we are trying. Small, small. Okay, yeah, that's impressive. <laughs> so after six years, you are a general dentist. After six okay. years, you're a general dentist, house officer. It's the same thing. You're a house officer. And then you do house job for two years. Okay. After the two years house job, you are posted. So house job, you are doing house job like a normal doctor, like. Mm -hmm. But they are doctors. No, 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 no. Don't even get me wrong. Okay. So you are doing house job like yeah. a normal. I went through all the rotations. Yeah. So currently at TTH, we have. No, no. Okay, I uh -huh. get your question. Yes, I get because your question. house house officers yeah. go to yeah, medicine, yeah. surgery, yeah. ONG. Yeah. yeah, I get your question. No, they uh -huh. are not. They are not going to. Okay. That normal rotations like okay. ONG surgery. Uh -huh. no. We are going through rotations in dentistry. In dentistry, yeah. okay. So, like okay. I said, dentistry also has its own special. Okay. So, they'll do those rotations: um, adult oral health, pediatric dentistry, okay. and maxillofacial surgery, orthodontics. Okay. So, they'll do those rotations. Okay. And so, is it for two years? For two years. Okay. So, after two years, then they'll be posted. So, currently at TTH, we have three house officers. Two or three. Yeah, three. Three house officers okay. who are in their second year. Okay. So after that, they'll be posted to facilities that have the then have it like a dental setup. Okay. So most of these people want to go to Accra and Kumasi. So a lot of the dentists are in Accra and Kumasi. In Accra alone, you have over five hundred. Let's say Accra and Kumasi combine about five hundred dentists over there. Uh, so only a few, about ten to eleven, are in the northern part. Uh, so. Wow. So I'm I'm hoping that um, if you're a possible student, I hope that when we post you to 
this northern part, you accept the postings exactly. because we, we need Come to. and help. We need people yeah. here. How is employment like with um, dentistry? So that they yeah. it, they are. Uh, I mean the clearance and everything. It's, it's it's basically medicine. It's the same thing. Okay. The clearance comes together. It comes as a batch together with the medical prac- okay. uh, practitioners. Okay. Clearance and postings. The same timing. Okay. The same timing and everything. Okay. Except that you know in dentistry you really need a, like a facility that has the setup. You need, you need a place that has. So there are, there are so many hospitals that not all hospitals have oh, a dental employee. setup okay. and a dental chair. So sometimes we post some. And then we ask them to lobby for us, for them to set up. So okay. we've had some successes there. Okay. And so the more we're able to do that, then we spread out uh, so that the access to oral health care too will be improved. You agree to come to come here? My story is for another day. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, yeah, it, because... yeah it, it was more or less I just had to come. Oh. You know, because it, it, sometimes you get a posting and then you have to now choose, am I going to go, should I wait for another posting? But sometimes you try and then you go and you're like, okay, it's not that bad. Uh-huh. Let me just stay. Okay. Uh-huh. So, that was so for cool. how long have you stayed here? I I started here 2019. Okay. Yes. Okay. I started my MOC in 2019. I'm sure you're not planning on leaving anytime soon. Um, no. <laughs> yeah, we could change you. Okay. I just want to know the um, state of... Um, dental care dental health in our country and mm. if possible you dive it down to the northern parts of ghana mm. how is it like people's attitude towards that yeah. and then everything i am i would say that it's it wasn't very easy from the beginning because um, a lot of people were not um, aware or they were not conscious of their oral health and um, and then um, they resorted to all manner of things even now and what we call orthodontic care, like braces and aligners. People are like, ah, that pain costs how much? Am I going to spend all that money Very on expensive. that? Exactly. Yeah. So you see, um, they feel like, ah, my teeth is not straight, so what? Let me. <laughs> so it, 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 there's a lot of awareness that has to be done. And it, once people, there are people who can also afford, you know. Mm-hmm. So it's like once people get to know that that treatment option is available, they are willing to go through their treatment. Uh-huh. And people with toothache, missing teeth. There are people who didn't even know that they could be placed if they have a missing tooth, for instance, or maybe they have a front tooth that fell out or a chipped tooth. So many other conditions. In fact, every other, every dental uh, problem can be solved. Uh-huh. People think that when you are 60, 70, 80, naturally you should lose your teeth. But that, that is not it. It's really because we don't really take good care of our health. That's how come we lose people lose their teeth at older ages. Okay. But there are people who also take very good, good care of their oral health and keep their teeth for a, for a long time, even for a lifetime. Uh, so it's really about how much um, awareness we create. And we are trying to do that on the, on the, on the, on the daily basis. Okay. Um, for now, we've um, exhausted whatever questions I had, and then I think I'm clear now. I understand it better, and I hope you have also. But um, if you have any other further questions, you can put them in the comment section. I'm sure and we can direct them to me to still answer them. So yeah, we have School of Dentistry here in UBS. If you are someone that's interested in the course, you are always welcome. You can come and then let's um, at least get a balance to these numbers we've had because they are not really good. Thank you so much for watching and um, if you are new here, subscribe, like and leave a comment and then if you are a returning subscriber too, thank you for always passing by. Bye, see you in my next video.